Well, kids, we're back to good old phone in the hand, Mikey style. But you know what? It's easiest to do off the cuff this way. So, okay, check it out. I've been listening to those big tubes, the big NAT audio. Those things are freaking phenomenal. But um, I'm checking out my slopes and curves on the uh, crossover, and um, I think they can be better. I don't think they're matched well. I think they can be better. I think we need a little more mid bass. I think we need to bring put a little more body into that uh, machine over there. So I soldered up a few a different uh, high and low pass. Right now, the low pass is at um, 58, and the high pass is at 75. I don't know what I was thinking, but I, I don't know, trying to learn things, I guess. So I tried two different... And they're different slopes too. So I'm going to go with these here. We're going to move it to 64 hertz. We're going to go with the high pass. We're going to go, they're going to be at the same place 64 hertz, the high pass and the low pass. We're going to go with an 18 dB Bessel filter, um, which has the most linear response from what I read. And the curves looked all right. So. We're going to give this a shot. What I'll do is um, I will cruise in there, start up the rig. We'll play it, you know, listen to a tune. I'll swap out modules and we'll play the tune again, see if we can hear a difference. I'll have to hook up the... I do have some mics. Okay, right now I'm using the phone mic. When, I, when I'm recording music, I do have some little mics. It's a thing that plugs into my phone, uh, and but but they're little... They're little little crappy mics i guess uh what i'm gonna do is get some freaking neumanns or some uh or the other ones akgs or neumanns i'll get neumanns if i can spend the coin but um so i've got word into a, 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 a big studio guy that knows everything about i think he's got the biggest microphone collection known to man um you guys might have seen him at the show, uh, Alan Sides, who uh, I think he recorded Michael Jackson bad or he produced it or something, man. But he, the guy is badass. He uh, definitely knows his, his crap around microphones and how to record stuff. So anyways, that's that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to head on inside, put these puppies in, and uh, we're going to get going. So I'll talk to you soon. Okay, so I'm here getting prepared, and um, oh yeah, check what we were up to last night. They're not finished yet, but they're not, I got them clamped on. But look, now those mids are in a baffle, and uh, so they're going to be. I'll, I'll wrap them in a in a white sock, kind of like those. the The rest of the Maggie panel over here, and, and then it'll all be white. And uh, I'll stain. I'll, I'll put the poly on there to to match the color and all that kind of stuff. Take the tape off. And it'll be on a piano hinge, and so we can angle it a little bit. Um, so that'll be pretty killer when they're done. Uh, I'll enter them in a contest, <laughs> if there was one. But um, anyways, uh, yeah, so that's what we did last night. It took us a while. We did a pretty killer job, though. I mean, it's a pretty bang-up job on this deal. Look how nice and tight that is, mounting all the way around to the back side and we got I put uh we routed out the wire that came down from there and now we got some wbt's on there so the it's going to be pretty really sweet they sound better believe it or not mounted in the baffle like that they sound a lot better um so we'll hear that in a second this is always kind of fun too i, I should turn the lights down for this and then we'll come back and do the music listening, get to business later, but you got to check this out. Okay, so. Okay, so. We just turned it on. Now it takes like, I don't know. I think it takes, well, these ones light up quicker than the other ones. It takes like, I don't know, 20 seconds, whatever. There's right now, it's just charging everything up. Getting the caps all charged up, getting the power supply charged up. Ready to start the supernova. I gotta make sure that I got sunblock on. <laughs> Actually, these things are pretty awesome. You get used to it. 
It, the, the, the fan turns out the fan is enough. Look at that. How cool is that? That's awesome. Okay, so check it out. We'll do another one. You gotta you gotta pull this thing. It's a safety, okay? And we'll watch this one go up. Um, but just a simple fan is all I need. Uh to so it's not too much. It, you know, uh a bigger room would do it too. You know, I mean that back wall right there or that front wall six feet high. So behind me where I'm sitting on the other side it's nine feet. So it's an angled ceiling. Let's see that turn on and I'll show you. But um, so this room is pretty, it, it's, it's, it's not that big. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, so the room, uh, and it's full of a bunch of stuff. And the windows are all covered with like uh, uh, sonic, um, you know, absorbers. So that's all insulated over the windows. So we're all totally insulated in here. Uh, and then there's only one register and one return. So... Uh, most places, you know, if you're in a bigger or, or like an, even, even in just an open room that didn't have, wasn't all closed in, it would be, um, a lot, a lot cooler. And, uh, it takes a little while for it to get toasty, but anyways, so I'm going to play around for a little bit and then I'll come back when I'm ready, uh, with a tune and then we'll play it, uh, the way it is. And then we'll change the crossover and see, see how, if we can hear some. All right, guys, talk to you later. Okay, so I am back now. Um, got the mics and everything ready to go. And uh, we're going to listen to... I picked some music that is just kind of right in the area that I think we're going to be fixing. So this ought to help showcase it well. Uh, and this thing is weird. It just keeps drifting. Oh, and you know why it's always kind of cocked off to the right like that? Because my earphone plug where I need to plug in the microphones is right behind this arm thing that's in the way. So I have to cock it a little bit. I'll have to figure out how to calibrate, but I'll get her done. Okay, so here we go. Let's play music. Okay, play. Come on, man. Oh, great. It's like, oh, there we go, okay. Okay, so that is, um, I think that's right in the area where we need to, to do this. So what I'll show you, we're going to go like this. Grab this one, turn it off. Okay, and then look, we're going to go right in there and grab this out and that and that and that. And you know, we also have some tubes in there that we could roll if we want to play around. Throw some NOS tubes in there. Those are not NOS tubes. Let's see. Okay, here are the freshly soldered modules. So I'll put them in here right now. Hold on, and I will be right back. Okay, so we're waiting for this uh, tube crossover to warm up. It's charging the, the tubes. We'll see it go in a second. There we go. Okay. Uh-oh. See, that's the first thing I listen for. RFI. We got a little squeaky bobiki. Yeah, see any like...
cold solder joint any solder that's not if there's one little mistake on that soldering job it'll jack you up okay so let's see how close I was with taking a guess at what needed to happen here we go Hmm, doesn't sound that different. Okay, it progressively got shittier sounding because we're messing with the levels. Okay, I just had a realization. So what I did was I turned up the low. I cut the high. Um, usually, if you start having to do that, there's a gain mismatch, and I totally, completely spaced that part out. These amps have like 30 dB something of gain. The Roland amps have 26, which is common, actually. 26 is, is, is a very common gain. The Vivaches have 26. Um, almost everything's right in there. The 30 dB of gain, and here's another thing. Okay, so the 30 dB of gain on these is, is overpowering the lows. So, and in addition to that, the mids that we put in into here are 4 ohm mids and the Magnapan 7.1 has 8 ohm mids which is uncommon but they did it that way i don't know because of the way they did the crossover so right now as compared to the Magnapan crossover these are twice as loud because they're 4 ohm rather than 8 ohm so we've got that happening so we've got twice as loud mids and we've got the amp that's the amps that are powering the magnapan the whole magnapan panels are have higher gain so we're getting more juice to the maggie than we are to the sub um okay so Normally, you have to gain match your amps when you do a bi-amp. You, you definitely have to gain match. Uh, I'm wondering if what is a good way to alter this and get, 
get a better Sonic, uh, a fuller Sonic. I mean, it sounds phenomenal. The imaging is just three-dimensional and holographic and unbelievable. But but I'm going to get picky, you know, um, because I always do. Um, do, 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 do. So I've got a couple ideas that I will work on, and then we will revisit this. We totally should have heard that crossover change. That was weird. Like we didn't, I didn't, I don't know if I even heard anything. Uh, so that is odd. And it just, it just goes to show that it's, it's beyond reproach. Some of them, once, if, if that, that gain is out of whack, you can't, you can't tune for it. You know, uh, it's, it's just, it's, the more monkey and you start doing with with the knobs, the 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 worse it gets. It, it starts sounding. Uh, so, anyways, so there's a good lesson. Um, uh, and and uh, we're checking it out. And you're right along with me. And you know that I'm not pulling your leg on any of these demos because this was a failure to launch. Um, but this is what makes Hi-Fi great for me. Is it's a challenge. I love this, what's happening right now. This is now I get to figure it out. And because you know what? I'm the master of this stuff. You know, <laughs> that's all. It's a machine and uh, I make it do what I want. So, um, and it's, it's a a actually as crazy as it sounds, it's fun for me to ferret out where the issue is and find it. It's challenge. I know there's an issue in the rig right now. I know there's an imbalance. I've got some ideas of where it is, and then the next step is go trial and error until I get it nailed, and then just enjoy, like, sound twice, three times as good as it was before, and it's just, it's the best. So anyways, I'm going to sign off. I'll catch up with you guys later. I'm going to work on fixing this. All right, see ya.